how you doing, Bradley? Um, for your snaps, and I know with the pistol snaps, they're you know they have to be a certain way. Uh, how much did you practice that this off season, even before you came into OTAs? Um, it, it, it was a ton. You know, we we've just continues to practice. Uh, you know, Coach D, he's he's kept us. You know, since I've been here, we've always stayed after and snapped. Uh, we've always stayed up on our snaps. We've always, you know, just made sure that everyone was ready for that opportunity when it came available. Um, and, you know, no matter who it was, whoever went down, whatever person had to step in, those snaps were always ready. Uh, so continued that trend over the off season, got back here, you know, continued to do even more snaps um, and just trying to get that just uh, muscle memory and, and all that good stuff going. Um, you know, so, so we're just, you know, just working away and trying to, trying to get it right. Ryan Mink. Bradley, just how comfortable do you feel in your move back to center? Um, you know, I love the transition back to center. Played, you know, since high school, really. Um, and, you know, I, I've always I've always felt like that was my strong suit. I always felt like that was where I kind of dominate, um, you know, in a, in that tighter area. Um, you know, I'm, I'm – I like I'm I'm a very intelligent person I feel like uh, especially when it comes to football but just continue to uh, to learn the playbook progress learn the protections um, you know learn all the crazy different fronts that our defense gives us and try to block those you can block our defense you can block any defense in the league so um, you know just just excited to have that opportunity to continue to grow every single day um, and just work through this mini camp through OTAs everything and then when we get back in uh, training so. Jonah Schaefer. Bradley, uh, there was a kind of a minor news story this offseason where a former Bills GM said that the importance of the center position is kind of overlooked just because of how important it is for, for you guys to get the pre-snap issues sorted with the complexity of the modern passing game and everything. I, I guess kind of, you know, with you stepping into that role now at the NFL level, what did you learn about just what is required of that job? Um, you know, I feel like it was kind of the same way, um, at least at Alabama. You know, the, it was big on the center. The center was responsible for the mic points, uh, declaring the fronts, you know, sliding the protections, uh, re-miking, you know, making – coming up with solutions on the fly um so you know coming here it's very you know pretty much the same thing uh you know the just the different fronts the varying um defensive looks you get uh knowing exactly what you know g wants to get to what we want to pick up uh what most dangerous six we want to pick up in a certain protection so um you know i feel like i feel like it's pretty this pretty similar um and just trying to continue to work and and make it better and better Hey Bradley, um, at the end of the last season, your your exit meeting, did did they at that time did the coaches say to you that center was going to be a strong possibility going into this year? And you know, if if you did have that conversation at that at that time, what was your kind of your immediate reaction? What was there an immediate excitement? I mean, we we've always known since I pretty much since I came here, um, we knew there was a possibility of me playing center at some point. Um, so you know, always staying ready. And then we got back, and and coach you know said that you know I'll be at the starting center for right now. Um, and, you know, we'll, we're continuing to work and try to work out those kinks and just be, uh, be the best player that I can possibly be um, and just get ready for the season. Mark McKeelan. Hey, Bradley. Uh, I remember Tom Brady earlier in, in the year mentioned that how hard it's going to be with all these numbers changing around. Patrick Queen wearing number six, LJ Fort with number three. Does that present a challenge for you looking for a guy to block who's got a single digit on? Um, you know, it's just film study. You know, you got you got to know your guys. You got to know who you're going against. Uh, that's the biggest thing. You know, I I understand that that point, but um, in the, the day, you got to study your people. You got to know who's in the box. You got to know who your most dangerous guys are uh, to take care of. And you know, it, it's that's kind of that simple. Pete Gilbert, hey Bradley, good to see you. And it's certainly more a resident nice guy on the offensive side of the ball. There are a lot of nice guys that seem outwardly uh, on the defensive side of the ball as well. You think of Calais, Brandon Williams, Marlon, Patrick Queen. Are are they? Do they need to be meaner? I, I think they do a pretty good job. You know, they they keep it light off the field. You know, uh, keep it fun during practice. Keep it, you know, just kind of kind of light where you're you're not all tensed up. You're not all, you know, just a ball of nerves. You know, there's there's you see those guys kind of, you know, goofing around, messing around. But when it comes to to football, it, it's time to work. Um, so that that's the the biggest thing. You know, is when it's time to work, it's time to work. When it's time to play, it's time to play. So. John Stetner. Hey, Bradley, good to see you, man. Um, so, Coach Harbaugh was kind of joking around with us, but kind of not a little bit.
little earlier about keeping an eye on you and if the snaps go high or low, kind of, you know, telling you about it because he said, like, there's been some issues the last couple of years with snaps. He's kind of joking around. But, I mean, seriously, there has been. I mean, how, how much do you feel, um, I guess, kind of the eyes on you, uh, I guess, the last four weeks, OTAs, and minicamp? I mean, you, it, it all starts with the center. You know, it all starts there. We, we've had some issues in the past. Um, you know, things happen. No one's perfect. Um, but, you know, it, it's just a consistency thing. We just got to continue to be consistent, continue to get the, your hands on the ball, snap of the ball, doing the right mechanics, making sure you're, you know, you're doing your job to the best of your ability. Um, and that's the biggest thing right now. That's all I can control. You know, I can't control the past. I can't, you know, I can only control the future from here on out. Um, so, you know, I'm just going to continue to try to stay consistent and, um, you know, just stay in my, my motor development and uh, mechanics and all that. So, Take a couple more here for Bradley. Ryan, me? Hey Bradley, just wondering, as, as you enter the final year of your contract, uh, does an extension enter your mind at all? Uh, have there been any talks about that to your knowledge? And, and how much would you like to be kind of that center that stays here for a long time? Yeah, you know, I, I'm I'm uh, I'm here to play good football. You know, whatever whatever it is, whatever's going, that's that's between you know the the front office and my agent. Um, I'm here to play winning football. That's my only priority right now, uh, is to make sure that I'm playing the best that Bradley Bozeman can play, um, and you know, making sure that my team in that position um, is in well hands and just continue to grow as a player and continue to to try to to make my name in this league. Um, and you know, whatever happens in the day happens, but. Um, you know, we're just going to continue to play winning football, and that that's the main priority there. Close it out here with Jonas Schaefer. Bradley, I know the intensity is going to ratchet up in training camp, but uh, what has impressed you so far about Alejandro making the switch from left tackle to right tackle? The right tackle looked pretty seamless. Uh, you know, the guy's huge. <laughs> like you're sitting there talking to him. I'm looking up at him, and um, but the guy the guy is massive. You know, so um, so he, he's just a big body in there. He, he's you know athlete. You know, gets after it. Um, great pass setter. You know, good run blocker. You know, we're we're just really excited about it to see what happens when the pads go on. Hey Bradley, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate you. Absolutely, thank y'all. Good seeing y'all.